Article 371 will remain intact, Centre assures northeastern states, Union Home Minister says no place for illegal migrants in the region. Many historic achievements in first 100 days of Modi government second term, says Information and Broadcasting Minister. ISRO locates Chandrayaan-2 lander on lunar surface. Mission success is 95% claims ISRO chief. A grateful Assam remembers its cultural icon, Dr. Bhupen Hazarika. Chief Minister Honwal leads state in paying tributes. And Manipur decimate Tripura three goals to one in sub-junior national football in Imphal. Good evening, viewers, and welcome to the Northeast News Bulletin. This is Ajanta Chaudhary. Now with the details. Union Home Minister Amit Shah today said not a single infiltrator will be allowed to stay in the region. Addressing the 68th Plenary of the Northeastern Council, NEC, in Guwahati, he said Article 371 of the Constitution will not be abrogated, adding that certain forces are trying to create confusion on it. He advocated preparing a roadmap to promote culture and heritage of the Northeast, without which the development will have no meaning. Northeast के विकास के लिए नरेंद्र मोदी सरकार ने भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार ने लिया है और जहां तक एनईसी का सवाल है अटल जी की ही सरकार थी 2002 में एनईसी अधिनियम के अंदर संशोधन किया गया सिक्किम को शामिल करते हुए इसको वैधानिक क्षेत्रीय योजना निकाय बनाया गया मतलब प्लानिंग एवं पॉलिसी बॉडी बनाया गया पहले एडवाइजरी स्वरूप होता था अब इसको प्लानिंग और इंप्लीमेंटेशन के पॉलिसी बनाने के भी अधिकार एनईसी को जब भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार थी तभी किया Shah announced that the Northeast Council will earmark one third of its fund for priority areas and deprived sections of society in the region. He said the development of the Northeast is a priority of the Prime Minister and the NDA government. क्षेत्र के रूप में देश में सबसे बड़ा GDP contributor था वो स्थिति पूर्ववत लाने के लिए भी आज हमने लक्ष्य तय करने चाहिए। देश के विकास की अगुवाई, देश के विकास की leadership Northeast के पास होनी चाहिए। इसलिए ही हमारे प्रधानमंत्री नॉर्थीस को न्यू एंजिन ऑफ इंडिया कहते हैं। इंडिया के ग्रोथ का नया एंजिन नॉर्थीस बनना चाहिए। इस दृष्टि से आज हमने आगे बढ़ना चाहिए। Addressing the session, Donor Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh said the NEC has been given its highest budgetary allotment of 1,470 crore rupees for the year 2019-2020. Meanwhile, State BJP President Ranjit Kumar Das today led a team of his party men, met Union Home Minister Amit Shah at the Administrative Staff College, where Shah was attending the 68th NEC plenary session and submitted a memorandum to Shah expressing the State BJP's concerns over the recently published National Register of Citizens. <laughs> Manonio, the Homo Ki Dangoria, Professor Amar, the Jonathan Party, the Steel Hobuti. They are among Echinikota, Jonasa, the A because to Loipola, Okono Sintar Projo, Nibeli Koisen, the Hitu Etu at a party commitment, J. Ejono, Bidichi, Bahato Takibo, Noibo, Bulitu, Aguti, Doctor Borakisile, Ajio Takete Hitukota Koisen. The NDA government, under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, has taken many historic initiatives in the first 100 days of its second term, said Information and Broadcasting Minister Prakash Javrikar while addressing media in New Delhi today. Javrikar emphasized in brief on the steps and achievements of the government. He said a historic step was taken to repeal Articles 370 and 35A of the Constitution to bring Jammu and Kashmir to the mainstream. He said for the first time, monsoon session of Parliament functioned without disruptions and a record 30 bills were passed. Javrikar said two cabinet committees have been set up to spur investment and create new employment opportunities to achieve $5 trillion economy. 
ये सच्चाई है कि पहले सांसद की समितियां ही अभी स्थापन नहीं हुई है सभी पार्टियों से नाम नहीं आए हैं तब कोई थोड़ा ही एक पूरा सेशन बिना कानून के थोड़े ही बैठेंगे और इससे ज्यादा बिल्स विदाउट सेंडिंग इट टू स्टैंडिंग कमिटीज और इसमें तो अनेक बिल ऐसे थे जो दो दो साल से पेंडिंग थे जो दो दो बार In more national news, Chandrayaan-2 orbiter has located the lander Vikram on the lunar surface and beamed its first picture back to the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. This was stated by the National Space Agency's chairman, Dr. K. Sivan. Dr. Sivan, however, said communication is yet to be established with the lander and they are trying to establish contact. The lander had lost communication with the Chandrayaan spacecraft while attempting a soft landing on the moon on Saturday. The ISRO chief asserted that Chandrayaan-2 has been 95% successful. The lander Vikram orbiter has enough fuel to function for next seven and a half years. In an exclusive chat with DD News, Dr. Sivan said the orbiter has already been placed in the orbit around the moon. Assam today observed the 93rd birth anniversary of Dr. Bhupen Hazarika, Doyen of Asmis Culture. On the occasion in Guwahati, Chief Minister Harbanan Dohonwal, accompanied by Union Minister of State for Food Processing, Rameshwar Teli, Minister of State for Cultural Affairs, Nabo Kumar Dole, and Press Advisor to Chief Minister Rishikesh Goswami, visited the Bhupen Hazarika Hamadi Khetro and paid floral tributes at the burial site and before the statue of the artist. In his speech, Honwal called upon the people to follow the footsteps of Dr. Hazarika, who had always promoted human values and fraternal feelings among various communities. Only then Dr. Hazarika's dream of a better Assam can be realized, said Honwal. On the other hand, leaders of the All Assam Students Union, ASU, also visited the Hamadi Khetro and paid their tributes to Dr. Hazarika. <laughs> In Meghalaya, Chief Minister Conrad Sangma formally launched the Shillong My Passion campaign at a function in Shillong on Saturday. Shillong My Passion is a community-driven initiative for a cleaner and greener environment. Speaking on the occasion, the Chief Minister termed the initiative as the beginning of a revolution while stating that the success of the program will largely depend on the commitment of each and every individual. Lauding the efforts of various organizations, institutions, local bodies and individuals engaged in keeping the environment clean, the Chief Minister said, Shillong, my passion, will provide a common platform for citizens to connect to the cause of a cleaner capital town. National Security Advisor Ajit Doval has said the situation in German Kashmir is getting much better than anticipated. He said that over 92% areas are now free of restrictions. Talking to a news agency in New Delhi, Doval said that out of 199 police station areas in the state, only 10 have prohibitory orders in place. 100% landline connections are operational in the state. Doval clarified that there is no question of atrocities by the army, adding that they are there to fight terrorists only. Only state police and central forces are handling public order, he added. In Assam, an earthquake measuring 3.3 on the Richter scale struck Assam's Kabi Anglong district today. The India Meteorological Department said the epicenter of the quake, which occurred at around 7.03 a.m., was located at a depth of 10 km in the district. There was no immediate report of any damage. Noted lawyer and former union minister Ram Jethmalani passed away at his residence in New Delhi this morning. He was 95. Jethmalani, a sitting member of the Rajya Sabha, was ill for some time due to age-related ailments. The president, the vice president and the prime minister have expressed grief over his demise. In a tweet, President Ramnath Kovin said that the nation has lost a distinguished jurist, a person of great erudition and intellect. Prime Minister Narendra Modi in a tweet said that in the passing away of Ram Jethmalani, India has lost an exceptional lawyer and iconic public figure. In Tripura, Chief Minister Biplab Kumar Deb on Saturday distributed sports kits to the existing clubs of the state as part of the Fit India movement. Sports and Youth Affairs Minister Manoj Kanti Deb was also present at the function. Addressing the gathering, the Chief Minister said the state has a club culture not seen in other parts of the country except West Bengal. He said this government is working hard day and night to ensure all-round development of the state. 
In sports news, Manipur started their campaign on a winning note, beating Tripura by 3-1 goals in the qualifying round of Hero Sub-Junior National Football Championship 2019-20 for North East Zone, which got underway at Kuman Lampak Main Stadium. Host Manipur were kept in bay for most part of first half as Tripura dominated the proceedings with Bimal Riang scoring an early goal in five minutes into the play. Tripura observed the World Physiotherapy Day today. On the occasion, a massive rally was organized in Agartala by students of Tripura Institute of Paramedical Sciences. World Physiotherapy Day is observed to generate awareness about the crucial contributions the physiotherapists make to the society, enabling people to be mobile, healthy and independent. In Meghalaya, a workshop on social media and YouTube was held for the employees of All India Radio and Doordarshan Kendra at Regional Academy of Broadcasting and Multimedia Shillong by social media executives and officer on special duty to the Chief Executive Officer Prasar Bharati. Participants from Aizol, Tura and Jawai also attended the workshop, organized mainly to promote the use of social media platforms like Twitter and YouTube to reach out to the masses by the public broadcasters. <coughs> And finally, in Meghalaya, a nutrition awareness program under the Rashtriya Poshan Ma was organized by the Office of the District Program Officer, West Kasi Hills, at Trisim Hall, Nongstoin. The object behind the uh, program was to spread awareness about the importance of nutrition. Deputy Commissioner, West Kasi Hills, T. Lingwa, lauded the role being played by the Anganwari and Asha workers to serve the people. He said, the Anganwari and Asha workers are messengers of the people and upon them lies their responsibility to sensitize the people about health and hygiene. And before we wind up the bulletin, a recap of the headlines. Article 371 will remain intact, Centre assures northeastern states. Union Home Minister says no place for illegal migrants in the region. Many historic achievements in first 100 days of Modi government's second term, says Information and Broadcasting Minister. ISRO locates Chandrayaan-2 lander on lunar surface. Mission success is 95% claims ISRO chief. A grateful Assam remembers its cultural icon, Dr. Bhupen Hazarika. Chief Minister Honwal leads state in paying tributes. And Manipur decimate Tripura three goals to one in sub-junior national football in Imphal. And that brings us to the end of this evening's bulletin. Thank you for tuning in. Namaskar.